workout or whatever so you're to dress 80s <laughs> and then go work out so we will see how that goes and how far I make it um, hopefully it's more fun than actual like working out but we shall see for now I'm gonna go get some breakfast with some of the group and see where the day brings us welcome aboard Scarlet Lady So in the 80s workout, it's low impact, so don't let that scare you if you are kind of on the edge of doing it. It's a lot of fun, all the different levels of ability, and they do go slow enough so that you can like keep track and all that. But we have some amazing outfits in here, so it's a lot of fun. And everybody's just here to have a good time. They do give water breaks, which we're on right now. So come and join us when you are on Scarlet Lady or Valent Lady. It's nice time! Water break check-in. We don't sweat, we sparkle. And you really do sweat, so uh, be prepared for that if you are going like full out. But so much fun still, very interactive. Again, you can do it at any level. So it's fun, but it's hot, and we're definitely sparkling. Definitely sparkling. Down, let's do it again. So, heart transplant person has officially made it all the way through the class. We are now on the like cool down, which is more like kind of a deck party. Um, we get to sing and dance and all that kind of stuff. So, it's been a lot of fun. I would totally suggest it. And uh, as you can hear, it's amazing. Quick check in after 80s workout. Oh my gosh, so much fun. You all need to try that. Um, and I can give it to whoever's coming on one of these with me. We are doing it, so pack your stuff. But um, totally, like the whole group actually stayed the whole time. It was a lot of fun, all different kind of ability levels, all that kind of stuff. But now um, I have a little bit of time off and then I have a, um, like a vlogging, kind of shooting pictures kind of class. But um, yeah, wanted to do a check-in because that was amazing and a great way to start the day.
up on the stage, they can hear everything I'm saying. Everybody knows what they're doing as they're doing it, so they can hear me, but there's such a ah, euphoric, relaxing type of feeling. And well, for some reason, they just can't help it.
it's actually like mid morning. Um, from Scarlet Lady. Final day, sea day. We had to get off in a few hours. That makes me really sad. But tonight was so much fun. Um, the solo group really had a blast on this one. So make sure if you come on in your solo to check out that group. It's awesome to get just together the first day right away um, and kind of learn all that stuff. So tonight, uh, went to dinner at Pink Agave. So good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, I will definitely be booking that again and I will definitely be trying to get there twice so that I can try more of their dishes. But I had the ribeye that was covered in cheese. It was so good. It was very large though. I didn't only eat like half. And it came with um, potatoes and chorizo. And then like the appetizers, we had chicken enchiladas, the roasted corn, um, shrimp, and oh, guacamole. It was very good. And then for dessert, I had the chocolate chocolate tacos, and then they brought like the bread pudding for us all to share at the table. So very, very, very good. Um, and towards the end of our dinner, they actually brought in a DJ for the restaurant. So um, be looking out for that if y'all have noise sensitivities, because it got substantially louder. But it was still good. Super nice staff, of course. Um, after that, went up to the dock in the aft and did a stargazing thing. Um, it was nice just to kind of take a relaxed time and look up at the stars and just kind of have that last night um, kind of think it over time. Out with the stars, it was quiet. They had like crickets chirping sound piped in and things like that. Um, very, very relaxing. Um, but make sure you get the day beds that are flat. Um, we were sitting in the wooden chairs. They were very uncomfortable. Um, luckily, we had to leave early <laughs> to go see Dual Reality. But um, yeah, chairs, super uncomfortable. Try to get the day beds for that. Um, and then Dual Reality, wow, is all I can say. I took a few pictures. Um, it's a lot of like acrobatic, but there is a story involved. And um, there's different acrobatic, like, I guess parts of the program. They have one where like they're um, feuding on poles and like literally they're just holding themselves on these poles with their arms and their legs. Um, it's amazing. Then they have like a hula hooper, um, a lot of like lifting each other up and like making each other fly through the air and things like that. So if you have the chance, make sure to go see that. Very, 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 very good. Um, and you never know where to look. It's kind of like a circus or kind of thing. So that was great. After that, went to the club. And <laughs> the club, they were having a special night there. So um, like the cabaret singer came out. Um, they had the happenings group or like the group of cruise directors in their dancing. Um, they had uh, like a glow part. They had parachute. It was like we were in kindergarten again. Um, but a lot of fun, a different activities going on in there, just kind of like a final send off for the week. But so much fun. The people I met have been absolutely amazing. Um, we're kind of all joking that we're going to plan another one because we had so much fun. And uh, yeah, I never did get all of my bar tabs spent. I will tell you, I'm on a four day cruise. Technically it's a four day cruise. I had $400 of bar tab. Y'all have seen <laughs> the videos day by day. And if not, go back and check them out. I did not skimp. Um, and I also like was buying for others and things like that. And I still have like $120 left. So the drinks are dramatically cheaper here than on other cruise lines. Like. For reference, um, Carnival I get cheers, so that's non, like, matching. But when I went on Royal, I did not get any drink package, and one of their, like, sail away drinks was $28. So, 
super expensive. Here, I think the most I paid for a drink was like $14, and that was like a super fancy, really strong kind of one. So um, just use that in your budgeting, and they are pretty strong. Um, there are a few drinks that were kind of weak for what I call Kool-Aid, but um, most of them and the majority are pretty strong, heavy pours, um, and good quality liquors. So just keep that in mind, but yeah, didn't spend all my beer tab. Not even close. <laughs> so, and it is one of those of you use it or you lose it. Um, the only thing that's kind of making it okay in my mind, because you know how I am, um, is that I didn't pay for any of my um, my bar tab. It was all included in my booking. Um, so I like went and booked under promos where I would get like three hundred dollars per cabin, and then with my loyalty, they added another hundred on there. So that was how I got. My didn't spend it, didn't spend it at all. But um, it was a great time. Definitely made those memories and not dreams and lived every day as a gift and met some absolutely amazing people that I hope get to keep in touch. So I will see you tomorrow for a final review and debarkation tier. Big, big, big tier because there's so much of this ship I have not even seen or experienced. So. There might be more coming, but for tonight, good night, and I will see you tomorrow.